Peep, peep. We're late, first Edward. Where's Thomas? He doesn't usually make us wait. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Saying the fireman, Johnny is so long. Okay, never mind about Johnny, laughing Trevor. Just climb on the cab and look for Thomas. Can you see him? No. The guards looked at his watch. Ten minutes late, he said to the driver. We can't wait here all day. Look again, Sid, said the driver, just in case. Can you see him? No, he answered. Fizz buddy the bus in, in a tailing hurry. No need to bother him, though. He's likely on a coach or something. And he clambered down. Right away, Charlie, said the guard, and Edward puffed off. Toot toot. Stop, stop, rolled Bertie, rolling into the yard. But it was no good. Edward's last coach disappeared through the, through the, through the, through the, through the walkway. Bother, said Bertie. Bother Thomas's fire not coming to work today. Oh, oh, why did I promise to help to help the passengers catch the train? That will do, buddy, said the driver. A promise is a promise, and we must keep it. I'll catch Edward a bus, said Bertie, grumbling as he as he raced along the road. Oh my gears and axles, he groaned, towing up the hill. I'll never be the same bus again. Toot toot, I see him. Hurry, 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 he cheered, racing to the top of the hill. Ooh. He reached the next station. Bertie ground the next mint. No, he stopped, at the, he stopped by a signal. Hurry, hurry, hurry. He, he tore down the hill and his brakes, and his brakes reared on the, at the corners. His passengers bounced like balls in a bucket. Well done, Bertie, they shouted. Wait, wait, he cheered, skating into the yard. He was, just, he was just in time to see the signal drop, the guard waved his flag, and it puffed out of the station. His passengers rushed to the platform where it was no good, and they came bustling back. I'm sorry, said Bertie unhappily. Never mind, Bertie, he said. A after, after him, quickly, third time, you know. Do you think we'll catch him at the next station, driver? There's a good chance, he asked. Our roads keep, keep close to the line, and we, and, we, and, we and we climb better hills than Edward. He fought for a minute. I'll just make sure. He spoke to the station master while the passengers w w went inside the bus to wait. This hill's too steep. This hill's too steep, grumbled the coaches as Edward snorted in front. They reached the top at last, smoothly ran into a station. Peep peep, whistled Edward. Get in quickly, please. The people in Porter's gone quickly, and Edward waited impatiently to start. Peep, whistled the guard to and Edward's driver. They, they, and looked, looked, they looked back, but the flag didn't wave. There was a distant toot toot, and, and the station master, running, running across the stretch, snatched the green flag out, out of the guard's hand. Then everything seemed to happen at once. Toot toot, behold, Bertie and his pastors pound. Pounded on, on, on the platform and scrambled into the train. The station master told the guard and driver what happened, and they will listen. I'm sorry about the chase, Bertie, he said. My fault, my fault, panted Bertie. Late at the junction, do you know about Thomas's passengers? Peep, peep. Goodbye, Bertie. We're off, whistled Edward. Three cheers for Bertie, called the passengers. They cheered and waved until they were out of sight.